Fitlike RD, Danny Min here and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2 Around the World in Time. So today we're, we've I've built out an area to complete the sort of Boatland and Lee Railway. We've got some information uh, from Wikipedia of the Boatland and Lee Railway and we will get to that. This is the actual turn off. Where it leaves this our main line, just sort of near Newton Lee Willows, which is over here. Let's get rid of this crap. I almost forget to get rid of the crap. There we go. So yeah, all that is gone. And yeah, this is where they turn off. Now it says here that there are uh, the Bolton and Lee Railway. So there were a couple of services. Uh, this one, a report from. 1st of June 1832, uh, there was a railway schedule departed Liverpool, Victoria 0730 to Bolton, Great Moor Street and departed Liverpool at 11 o'clock to Bolton, departed at 1430 to Bolton and departed at Liverpool at quarter past five to Bolton. And Sundays there was only one departure at 1730. Now we'll get that so this is all done. I'll show you that in just a second. Before we go though, what we'll do is I'll show you some of the stuff that I've, I've sort of added and done. Right, so this is the dark. It should be painted green. I was kind of hoping it was going to be a darker green, but it is not, unfortunately. So I've basically changed up some of the colors here. So this is the dark. Uh, this one is, aha, I will show you these. These are pretty cool. So if we go in here, they've got the wooden texture. Now these are ported over from Transport Fever 1. This is a rocket rebuild. So we'll go in it there. I'll show you in the depot. But it's an LM, uh, London and Manchester Railway 022 rocket rebuild. So kind of looks like a Northumbrian, but it's not quite a Northumbrian. Uh, so yeah, we've added one of these on to the line as well, and it looks great, it's fantastic. I did port quite a few things over from Transport Fever 1 recently, and I'll explain exactly what I did before we get into the Bolton and Lee stuff. So we've got that, uh, so that was the arrow, the Comet, what is the Comet? Yeah, so this is just a one in the sort of wooden texture again because we can't get the wooden textures unfortunately for the transport fever 2 versions it just comes in yellow you can paint it but as we've seen uh, the paint colors can look a bit naff unless you paint it black so this actually is just uh, a rocket type so i've used the rocket type to create another train that we're going to need for the Bolton and Lee Railway because there is no mod for it but again it looks pretty cool one of the things i do like is it adds an old school train driver, which I think is more appropriate rather than the guys that go around in the suits and the the top hats, uh, which is kind of strange. So that remains the same. Uh, so the dart we've looked at, we've got the Mars. This is just a, a planet class. Uh, where are you, my friend? There you are. So it looks cool in the Manchester green. I've not changed up. Uh, any of these, uh, these are all the same. So we've got the Mercury, which is the same as well, and then we've got the planet in the the, the rocket yellow colors. So that looks really good as well. So you can actually port this mod over from Transport Viewer 1, but it looks a bit strange and also clashes with this mod. Now I'll explain, there are ways to sort of get around uh, what you need, etc. But uh, yeah, we'll keep going. So we've got the planet, uh, we've got the rocket, the original rocket, in its yellow. Uh, that will stay in its yellow. But the cool thing was that the Transport Fever 1 mods actually had nameplates on the side with the actual name of the locomotive, uh, which was pretty cool. So we've got that and we've got a wildfire, uh, which is another rocket, uh, and that's in black. But you see it's got like the yellow stripes. But I would imagine not every single one of them was yellow. I would imagine most of them probably would have been this black color. As you can see, this guy's got the top hat. So this is a new version. And the ones that are the old school sort of rough and ready guys, 
uh, that are covered in coal and soot uh, are from Transport Fever 1. So that is all good. Now, if we go to the trains, uh, so we've still got our paper line as well. I've painted the Majestic uh, black. This is a Transport Fever 2 Northumbrian. Uh, as you can see, it's got the black sections here. But yeah, I, I want to have them in sort of different colors. Again, we have the mail train, the North Star. This should be green, but again, the green doesn't really work. I was kind of hoping the whole thing would be like this dark green here, but it's got this really light green. But again, it's okay. I'm happy with that. As long as they're not all yellow. Uh, right, and um, we've got the standard Northumbrian, uh, which is running mail back and forth, and that is in yellow. It's in severe need of a cleanup, but yeah, okay. So that's what I did with the locomotives. Now we'll get to that in a minute, but our line, our new line, <coughs> excuse me, is going to start from here. So it's going to start from Liverpool, Victoria. Uh, this says Liverpool Crown Street. Maybe it is Liverpool Crown Street. It probably is, actually. I've maybe labelled this up wrong. And you're Liverpool Lime Street. Yeah, I think this is actually supposed to be Crown Street. Uh, no, 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 no. Don't. Ah, it's okay. That'll be fine. We know. <laughs> right, so continuing on, the line continues. Now, we don't stop at any of the smaller stops. Uh, these places, Wave Tree, Broad Green, uh, Robbie, etc. I don't know what's happening with the colour textures have sort of gone really weird. And everything is super bright all of a sudden, uh, but that's fine. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I'll turn out super bright for you guys. I did turn the brightness up a bit when I was doing the, the night time drive-by on the, the sort of the other trains. So yeah, we head up this way. It does stop up here at St. Helens. Uh, we'll also get the Runcorn uh, Gap Railway done as well. That will have to come through here. That'll be on the to-do list. And then we'll be heading round and we'll be going to Newton Lee Willows up here. Well, it will be stopping on the spare platform and then it's going to head out and then it's going to hang a left over here. Now this is the, the printing press where we're delivering uh, paper to. I just sort of built it out so it looks a bit more, you know, these buildings are reminiscent of old sort of steel mills and uh, textile factories from way back in the day. I built a little village out here. It's not anywhere in particular. The train doesn't stop here. It just sort of skirts round the back of it. And then it continues around here. I built this weird lake as well. You can see there's some, with the water, there's some artifacting going on there. But if you don't look at it close enough, if you're just going over the bridge here, we it doesn't look so bad. Uh, built a little fishing area in here as well. Not that you'll see that. I might delete some of these trees so you can actually see this stuff. Uh, a couple of bridges going across here. And then we're going to have to fill this in with farms and stuff, etc. And then that will be that area complete. Fill this in with farms. That will be that area complete, etc, etc. But the train heads on. And, yeah, the textures are definitely a lot brighter. Hmm. Not sure what's going on there. Uh, and then we stop here at Lee. Lee Station. Now, there's no buses or anything set up for this yet, but there will be. It then continues on. We've got one branch line that sort of heads around here, and that is going to come into here, and I'm going to flesh this out and make this a sort of coal, coal field or open coal pit, etc., etc. And that's where we'll get coal for when we need it. Uh, past this little farm here, past the cows, past the sheep, random old derelict cottage, and there, a standard, uh, Atherton, ooh, right, configure, get me roofs, but I want green roofs, green roof, where art thou, my friend, you're there, yeah, finish that off. Right, so it's going to stop at Arthurton. There's nothing that says that it stopped here to begin with, but I think this station was added 
later on down the line. It's then going to continue on. It's going to go through the forest because I got really tired of building farms. And it's going to go under the tunnel here. It's going to come out at this side. And uh, there's some farms here. The road goes up there to Walkden. Yeah, and then Farmouth. I've built a little curve station here. Uh, for Farmouth. I don't know if anyone's going to use it. I'm probably going to have to get a bus out there. For anyone to use that. And uh, does this track split off? Yeah, it splits off up here and goes through here. And this is a textile mill. And we'll get this up and running. And I built this kind of neat sort of train sta uh, freight station in here. Uh, which is pretty cool. So we'll get that up and running. We can take... What do you actually take? I, uh, you take wool, fiber, leather, and synthetic fiber. But you don't get synthetic fiber till later. Huh. Okay. Whatever. It, it just takes one of those. As long as you're delivering one of those, you'll get textiles. So it heads out uh, past the signal boxes here. And then we head down this way. Now, this bit is really weird. As you can see, Bromley Cross was where the original height of the map was. And as I've said many times before, it's super difficult to work in the confines of height. Unless you totally flatten everything uh, and then build up around it, which takes a lot of time. I'm happy for this to be mountains and we'll get some trees. Hopefully Bolton will grow out this way. I know the original railway did continue out past Bromley Cross and then it would head up north, uh, further north into Lancashire. But yeah, we'll just uh, leave it here. Now I'm kind of hoping that the city will just build some stuff along here. Maybe even a road down there. I could actually just put a road in there myself. Now it's built street out here so it looks like it does want to build out there uh, I'd kind of like you to be medium street if that is what you want to do I was going to build like a canal docks area in here I might still uh, but we don't need it as of yet as I said before once we get into the age where I can actually go on to google maps and look at stuff a lot of this will be flattened and reworked maybe not the farms and stuff but a lot of the towns i'll be able to actually look and see what is going on and i'll have more assets to play with because there's a lot on a, a, a lot of assets for things that are happening now there's a lot of like supermarkets uh, car garages you know all that types of buildings but yeah it's time to get trains running on our on our map right the first one is not in this depot excellent good start at uh, the lancashire witch right the lancashire witch was built for the bolton and lee railway and then it was leased out uh so if we go to here are you here yeah the lancashire witch built for the bolton and lee railway but leased to the london and manchester railway excellent now, Steve M4 was uh, in his mods that he had uh, steam loco locomotives that he was planning to build and add to the early 1820s pack. The Lancashire Witch was one of them, but he's never gotten around to doing it. So we've just sort of taken uh, sort of matters into our own hands. Now, before we do anything, before we launch that train, I'll show you what we've done. So, if we go down, we have the 1820s locomotives. So, we've got our rocket. We also have our Sans Peril, uh, Sans Peril, uh, our Northumbrian, etc, etc. As we go down, though, I imported Invicta over from Transport Fever 1. It works and looks fantastic. And even though it didn't run on the... Uh, Manchester, uh, uh, Liverpool Manchester Railway or the Bolton and Lee Railway or the Runcorn Gap Railway we are going to build out an area and we'll get a couple of Invictas running you can also have one in reverse and it's really cool because the guy one of the guys actually sits on the side of the, of the engine and it's actually depicted 
<laughs> it's pretty cool. So we've got the Ireland, uh, Liverpool and Manchester 022 rocket type. This was ported in from Transport Fever 1 to give me the wooden textures. We've also got, uh, I also ported over early trains from uh, Transport Fever 1. That's another Steve M4 mod. Now the reason I did this, it had the, the Patente, the Planet class, uh, I think I had a Samson class, it had a few others, the Jenny Lind, etc. But the only ones I needed, because when I imported the whole pack, uh, it clashed with uh, a lot of the stuff from the 1830s pack, uh, especially these planets and Samsons and stuff. It kind of screwed them all up. So what I did is I just removed the trains that I didn't need. Uh, it was causing a crash because of a wagon, a coach that was in the pack that you physically possibly could not get in Transport Fever 2. So I, I removed that as well. But removing files from mods can be dodgy. You need to know exactly which files uh, you need to remove. So that was fine. I removed them and I left these, the bodies. Now the bodies were made by Edward Burry and there's at least <clears throat> four of them that I can find reference for. Uh, so there's the 060 which we have, right? So this is 060, it was called the Dreadnought, it was built for the, the Rainhill Trials but it was never, it never made, uh, it never made it in time. So it was leased to the Bolton and Lee Railway. The second one was the, uh, the Liver. Which was the which was a body Edward body two two zero which is this one here that actually ran on the Liverpool and Manchester railway, uh, but it was actually pretty good. It was more efficient and cost effective than the the Planet class, the Northumbrian, the Rocket types. Uh, it was actually a far, maybe not a far superior train, but it was definitely better. Uh, but because the Stevensons had a strong hand in the Liverpool Manchester Railway, they actually thwarted any plans that Edward Burry. Every time he developed a locomotive, the, the Liverpool and Manchester Railway would never order any because the Stevensons had the, the sort of monopoly on that line. And only basically their, uh, their locomotives were used up until a certain point. So a lot of them ended up on the Bolton and Lee Railway. So the 220, the liver, ended up there. There was a couple of 040s uh, from Edward's, uh, Edward Burry that were used for freight. So we're going to get these all running. And I've got most of them doing passengers. But the 040s will come later. I think I'm going to use them to run the, the coal mine. But they all sort of work. They do look a bit strange compared to the Transport Fever 2 mods, but they still hold up really well and look pretty fantastic for being, I don't know how many years old now, but they're pretty good. Another thing was as well, if we go to Passage, so these came as well, and these are really cool. So instead of the sort of design that there is here, these are basically just like freight wagons with benches in them. So that's pretty cool. And to mix it up from the, the Liverpool Manchester Railway, I've actually added uh, SNDR carriages to the back of them because there's no writing on them and they are a different colour. So we will release our Lancashire Witch first. And away she goes. So it's basically just a rocket. This is a rocket painted in black. Because it's the closest thing I could find to the Lancashire Witch. And here are these things. As you can see, there's little benches in them. And people will actually sit in them. It's pretty cool. So that is going to head off. Now, where are you heading for first? It looks like you're trying to head to Liverpool. I have no idea how you're going to do that. I was kind of hoping one of them would slice off. You're double slip switched, right? Yeah. Where are you going now? You're still going to Liverpool. That's fine. We can let him roll up to... Uh, we'll let him roll for a while. And then we'll start releasing some of the other trains. Let's just uh, three times speed this. I'm not sure how my computer 
is going to like three times speeding stuff. But there you go. Joins the main line. And the Lancashire Witch is off. It's on its way. Well, that is nice. Right, you're not. You're pretty much there, actually. So I was going to follow this train, and we pretty much will. Or we might follow a different train. Right, so you are there, right? I'm going to pause that, and then I'm going to get the next one rolling. So what we'll do is go into the second depot. Right, the Dreadnought is there. Now this is the Edward Burry 060. So we're going to set this on the Boltland and Lee Railway. And off he goes. See, there it is. And it doesn't look too bad. It's got steam that comes from the bottom. And it kind of obscures this. It's got a really cool little logo on the side. I can't zoom in far enough to make out what it is, though. What do you see? I don't think it says anything, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. So it's not absolutely perfect like the other mods, but it, when you, if you're on another train and you just sort of brush by this, you're not going to take much notice of it. It still looks pretty good. So you are on your way as well. But where the hell are you going? You want to go to St. Helens first. Huh, so are they all going to sort of split up? Because the Lancashire Witch is basically going to come past as you are going past, right? That's a thing that's going to happen. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Who are you? No, you're a Northumbrian carrying freight. Who are you? You're the Lancashire Witch. Okay, so you're going to get held up. That's nice. Let's launch another train and see if it goes to... Uh, Liverpool. Right, so they're all released out here. That's nice. So what have we got next? We've got Sans Perel. I'm going to release this Vulcan next. Uh, so there was a 220 called Vulcan. Now, for some reason in Wikipedia, it says that it was a planet class that was leased out to... There's a section, and then it's another section that said it was made by... Uh, I think it was Timothy Hackworth which was weird so I've just made it all it is is a unbranded planet class and I might actually add another one on there so it's just an unbranded planet class now you have got the red he's got the new wagons uh, that look pretty cool but yeah I, I, I really like this as well this looks really good so where are you going? You're going to the St. Helens as well. Can no one get to... Double slope switch that, right? Because I don't think train's coming out of here. Right, let's, let's launch the lever, right? We'll launch you. Hopefully you're going to want to go to Liverpool. No, you want to go to St. Helens as well. So again, this is the 220 made by Edward Burry. The, that was named the liver that ran on the Liverpool Manchester Railway for a spell and then it was uh, it was leased out to uh, the Bolton and Lee Railway so again it looks pretty cool I think these look really good considering their Transport Fever 1 mods it's amazing and they do exactly what I need them to do because I needed trains for this railway and these were these are a perfect fit All right so you've decided to go to st helens as well well that's totally fine so they're all going to be bunched up that's the only problem All right what we'll do is we will jump on sans perel and we'll let that go there we go now do you have the dude standing in the front no no so there should actually be there's a platform here and a guy would stand on that side of the train which is pretty pretty wild but yeah sans perel did actually complete uh, compete in the the rain home trials it did pretty good but it was too heavy it was deemed too heavy it was bought by uh, the stevensons and ran on the liverpool manchester railway and then it was leased out to the bolton and lee Really. So, 
there we go. We'll stay on board. We won't jump on board, on board. We'll leave that for another video. But we'll stay on Sans Pareil as it uh, heads off to... Where's it going? Bolton. <laughs> okay, you're, st you're stuck behind a lime green uh, rocket. No, you're not. You're pushing in front. I'm going to change the colour of that. I'm not happy with the green. I was hoping it was going to be this dark colour green. But oh well. I guess not. Right, we are heading through the, the cutaway. Lots and lots of people here. I definitely need to add... Uh, there are a lot more planet classes listed on... So we've got the... What have we got? Mercury, Mars... And we've got the planet. But there is also... Uh, Jupiter. There's Jupiter, Saturn, Sun, Venus. Yeah, it says here Vulcan was made by Fenton, Murray, and Jackson. Okay. There was the Etna. The Victory. Atlas, that's a 040. Milo is a 040. Pluto was a planet class. The Liver, the Burry Bear Frame locomotive was an early type. Edward Burry and Company, later named Burry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. Uh, the Ajax, I think this, I think these are potentially, yeah, they're two two zeros, yeah. So zero two 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 zeros, and then we've got stuff like the patenty that comes in later. Where is the patenty? What year did that come out? I don't know because I can't actually see it or find it. It is there. Now we're in eighteen forty four, and I'm pretty sure it came out like eighteen thirty four. Swift Tour, yeah, the patenty was 1834, and that was a 222. Okay, cool. Right, where are we? We're at Robbie Station. So Sans Pareil is making its many way. It will have absolutely nobody on board for the moment, and until I set up the buses, which I will do offline, uh, there probably ain't going to be nobody on it. There might be a few people that have been in range and managed to walk down to some of the stations. Uh, but yeah, there's no, there's no one going to be, there's not going to be much use for the service at the moment. What's this? It's a planet. It's the yellow planet class. Cool, cool. We'll add more of those to the to the main line though because we desperately need them. Yes, we do. We desperately need. <laughs> more planet classes on there we'll get them on though and then we'll do a bit more freight on this map and then what we'll do is we will head over to the next uh, next place we'll probably do a little small section for the Invicta on the railway it ran on uh, I can't it's not here Invicta So it was made, I know it was made exactly after the rocket. Because it literally says that it was the next train. To come out with the train works. Twentieth locomotive built by railway engineers. Cool, cool. Uh, where's the Wikipedia? There we go. The Invicta locomotive. Uh, I've got an auto save. Well, that's fine. I thought the game had literally crashed, but it ran on the C and W R, which is the Canterbury and Whitstable railway on eighteen thirty. Victor remained in active service till 1839. 
cool. So we'll get that. It's not. I've, I've checked it on the map. It's not a massive section, so it won't take me long to build out. And that gets the. I think it's like southeast, right? So that's pretty cool. So we'll get that up and running. Uh, where are we, actually? This is, it seems to be a long stretch of not much going on. Right, have a look at the scenery and figure out where you are. Uh, we're on a railway. Next to a windmill. Uh, does that help? Not really. Aha! I know where I am. I'm at Rain Hill. <laughs> what a guess. Okay, so we're coming into the little village of Rain Hill. Or maybe we should make the train stop here. Maybe. There is actually a station here, but it's one of those stations that's literally on the ground. So it, you don't see anyone standing waiting for the train. Which is totally fine. You could probably place down some, you know, people assets. Well, maybe times two this. There we go. Even at times two speed, because these trains don't have a blisteringly fast top speed, it still looks kind of cool. Still looks pretty normal, actually. There we go. There's the castle ruins. Hollow signal man with horse. Ah, oh, trees are in the way. There you go. There's the derelict castle. Very nice. That could be a nice screenshot. So yeah, I'm actually glad the way it turned out. I, it's a shame that there was no Lancashire Witch uh, mod, but I, I'm super happy that I managed to get it to sort of make something. When you look at the old pictures of it, it's the rocket really isn't far off. You can see why a lot of those, the early locals had that sort of design. Because Invicta pretty much has the same design as well. Right, what's that? It's a rocket. It's, it's the original rocket. Okay, cool. Now there is a thing that the, some of the Transport Fever 1 mods that are ported over do look slightly smaller. If they were scaled up just a touch, they would look absolutely perfect. But they're not so far gone that they look inappropriate. They look just fine. Who the hell is that? Oh, it's the liver. Ah, uh, I thought you would be further. Okay, let's jump on with you then. <laughs> okay, there's the little barns there. Doesn't look... There's one person on board. What are you? Ah, uh, you're not sitting in the open wagons. I don't know if I'm going to sit on this. There's a lot of steam. I like it. I like the fact that there's more steam, actually. Okay, so Sans Pareil is coming in behind you. I am intrigued to know where your one passenger is. You're in there. Oh well, good sir. Enjoy your ride on the... Burry 220? 022? Zero? Zero two two. What are you? You're a 022. Two two. No, you're a 220. Two <laughs> I actually have no idea. Wait, they'll tell me in the old details. You are... Yeah, you're a 220. And you are heading for... Collins Green Station. I need to flip that building around. Okay, there is a great many people here that want to go to Liverpool. We can't do anything to help them at the moment. Now, we will be stopping at Newton Hill... Ah, Newton Hill? No. Newton Lee Willows. Newton Hill is beside Aberdeen. <laughs> we will be stopping there. We're not stopping at Errolstown. Oh god. Traffic jam. Who are you? You're the Vulcan. Okay, so we're basically just jumping on the next train. <laughs> the Lancashire Witch. So, I think the, the train in front of the Lancashire Witch is the, <laughs> the Dreadnought. Look at this lady. She is loving life. I think you could probably have a few more wagons. You don't need them presently. 
Unfortunately, this lady did not have enough pittance to uh, <laughs> to pay for a first class car, you see. But yeah, this is literally a Transport Fever 1 mod. And it looks fantastic. Right, so you're stopping here. There are people that want to go back. So there are people that want to go to Liverpool. Some of them have come from this. So we are starting to literally cannibalise lines already. The cannibalisation of the Manchester and Liverpool Railway is being set in effect already. There we go. I like these as well because they didn't have the Liverpool and Manchester written on the side of it, which was nice. Okay, so you don't stop at Parkside, which is fine. You're going to have to wait, my friend. Right, now we are heading off. Off the main line, off to the Bolton and Lee uh, Railway. Or, it was, no, it was the Keeley Junction Railway. We'll go, hello, man, in cart. Oh, you guys are not going to fit through. Oh, you're just going to clip through each other. No, they actually do make it past each other. It's pretty cool. Right, so off we go. Past the the printing press in the background there. Uh, past the little village here. It's nice to see that the AI is sort of driving their horses and wagons through these areas. It's really cool. Now we'll try and set up a nice shot to get a shot of the lake as we go past it which may or may not be good. Uh, I think it's one of those things, you know, blink and you'll miss it. Alright, here we go. Here's the bridge. There's the lake. There we go. There is actually, as well, so what I've done is, right, we'll jump off the train for just a second, is I've got a little mill in here that's sort of powering the windmill because that's something that they used to do but you just can't see it you'll see it on the way back uh, when you go that way you just don't see it from that side so there are actually people waiting at Lee Central so these people are literally brave souls that walked from the village in there I will get them a bus stop I'm not completely inhumane I just never added it in so this is where the branch line heads off and that one to the right hand side will be heading down to uh, to the coal mine over the back there and we'll use the the Bury 040s to transport coal and then we'll get the 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 Stevenson's Samson 040 class uh, on the go to pull some freight as well I still have one free Northumbrian class uh, to set on a line so we'll get that done as well there we go past all the farms where is this Atherton or this was like Atherley or something this wasn't named Atherton back in the day and there's some people here as well <clears throat> No one wants to go to Bolton. Everyone wants to go back to Liverpool. I suppose anyone that wants to go to Manchester would have to get off the train at uh, Newton Lee Willows and then head back the way. Right, there ain't much to see in this area. There's a lot of rocks and bridges. And then we're going to a tunnel where there absolutely is nothing to see. <laughs> and then we pop out at the other side. Oh man, I need to get rid of this grass in the middle. I hate that it does that. Okay, into the tunnel. Oh man, the trees are clipping through the tunnels. What does it do here again? Yeah, we don't clip through the tunnel. We just float float nicely over the top of it and then we can zoom back in perfect 
Farm on the left, farm on the right. And then we've got... What the hell is the name of the place up here? <laughs> it is... Farmworth. Oh yeah, a little greenhouse. I need to add some assets to that as well. Must have forgot. Need to add a bus to here because... Oh no, people did actually make it down. Amber Wilson made it. So did Leon Wright. Tommy Roberts. Well done, people. Well done. How do you get onto the platform? Huh. Let's maybe not ask too many questions. Why the hell are you stopping for this idiot? Waiting for a free path? What? Are there no signals here? There are no signals here. Alright, what's that? Who are you? You're the Dreadnought, right? Yeah. You've got two on board. We'll stay on board the... Are these UK signals? Yeah, they are. Okay, right. So, you need to go there. And you need to go there. Right. It's made 112,000. How the hell did it do that? Okay, you should be able to go now, my friend. All has been made clear for you. Yeah, I need to add some signals to the back of here. I literally thought that he was waiting for that wagon to pass. I was like, what? Road vehicles don't have right of way. But it's true, they don't. It's because I forgot to add signals in. It's all good, though. So hopefully he will get down... The Dreadnought will get down to Bolton and start heading back up. I think I was fixated with fixing the signals here. And I've not done this side. Oh yeah, it's because I got carried away building that station for the, the textile mill. Yes, that is exactly what happened. And obviously, this right-hand side and this left-hand side looks a bit naff. Uh, the left-hand side will fix itself once Bolton sort of grows. Uh, I'm going to add, like, rock texture up here and add some bushes and trees. I am going to flatten that. I mean, there's literally... If we look out here... Yeah, there's literally like nothing up here. The river continues out that way, but again, it's a super pain in the ass to flatten all this. This maybe doesn't have to be too flat. I might bring this in and then maybe create like a valley or something. I'll just have to study what the train lines look like nowadays. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. We'll leave ourselves room for track design later. Right, so the Dreadnought has exited the station, so that's nice. The other train behind us, I would imagine, is still in the station. What's going to be my screenshot for this? I don't know. Well, you head out, my friend. Right, there we go, there's the Dreadnought. Doesn't look half bad. Looks good, actually. And then we're basically there. So yeah, I want this to build down here. Uh, at some point I may totally flatten this and just hand build this entire village, uh, entire city. Because uh, Bolton's pretty big. Uh, but we'll just see, see what happens in the the future. And I managed to sneak a little depot in there, which was nice, and then have a runoff track to go out that way later if we need it. Again, I may flatten this even further. Uh, we'll just see what happens. Is there actually anybody here? Negatory. Wait, one person is here? This is not in range of anything. Ah, it's in range of some of them. Once we get the bus up and running, 
more people come down. But yeah, there you have it. There is the Bolton and Lee Railway. Now we'll do a drive-by in a future episode. Uh, I need to add signals to there, so remember that. Yeah, I need to add signals. Well, what I'm going to do is uh, pick any station. Pick a station from here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I need to add another, you know what, I'm going to add, Milo, am I, or Pluto, yeah, add Pluto, okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to buy, I'm going to go down here, uh, I want you to go to Liverpool first, please. I want steam. I want an unbranded uh, planet class. Okay. Let's give you passengers. Uh, not that. Pick that. Go down. Paint you this color. So go one. Two, three, four, and get some S and D on one, two, three, four. Right, so buy that. Uh, we're gonna name you Pluto. And we're gonna add you to the Bolton and Lee Railway. And hopefully. There we go. Good man. You're going to St. Helens. No, don't go to St. Helens. Why? You used to be able to change the destination, reverse. I don't necessarily want to reverse it. I suppose all the other trains are way further down the line. Your house is going to get deleted, I think. Nah, it's fine. So Pluto has not abided by our, our orders. And it's now heading down here. That's okay. Right, so that's going to be it for this episode. How far did Sans Pareil make it? Kind of far. But yeah, we'll leave it there for that episode. As always, if you did watch this and you would like to leave a like, comment, or dislike, please feel free to do so. And if there's more you would like to see in the future, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Danny Men, this has been Transport Fever 2 Around the World in Time, and I will... Catches later.